Hi, my name is Phil and I'm one of the zoo rangers here at Chester Zoo and I'm going to be telling you a story called It Doesn't Scare Me. It had been a long day of hiking through the rainforest of Madagascar. I was just falling asleep when I heard a strange noise coming from outside. A rat-a-tat-tat, at first it gave me a fright. A rat-a-tat-tat, the noise went through the night. A rat-a-tat-tat, I heard outside in the trees. A rat-a-tat-tat, but it doesn't scare me. It stopped, and I fell back to sleep. The next day, I put on my boots and backpack, ready to explore and find out what made that noise. I walked deep into the forest, listening for the rat-a-tat-tat. What was that? I walked toward the sound. It got louder and louder. I crept through the bushes quietly and pulled back some leaves. There were lots of furry creatures with long stripy tails. Ringtail lemurs were climbing and playing in the sun. But I still hadn't heard that rat-a-tat-tat. Soon it was getting dark. I've returned to camp and took myself up in my sleeping bag. A rat-a-tat-tat. At first it gave me a fright. A rat-a-tat-tat. The noise went through the night. A rat-a-tat-tat. I heard outside in the trees. A rat-a-tat-tat, but it doesn't scare me. The noise stopped, and I couldn't hear anything more, so I went back to sleep. I woke in the morning and hiked through the forest, listening for that rat-a-tat-tat. I stopped for a break by a pool and heard a sound. Chirp, chirp, chirp. A splodge of orange, then another splodge, and another, and another. I looked closer. They were really tiny, with long legs and damp skin. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Little frogs called golden mantellas were calling to each other. It was late in the day, so I went back to camp before it got dark. I stayed up as late as I could, hoping to hear that rat-a-tat-tat. But I was very tired and soon fell asleep until... A rat-a-tat-tat, at first it gave me a fright. A rat-a-tat-tat, the noise went through the night. A rat-a-tat-tat, I heard outside in the trees. A rat-a-tat-tat, but it doesn't scare me. I grabbed my torch and wriggled out of my sleeping bag. I followed the noise until it got louder and louder. A rat-a-tat-tat, a rat-a-tat-tat, a rat-a-tat-tat. My torchlight fell across a creature. It had lots of scraggly fur, large twitching ears and big wide eyes that looked straight at me. It was listening for hollow patches by tapping along the tree branch. A rat-a-tat-tat, a rat-a-tat-tat, a rat-a-tat-tat. I watched it make a hole with its teeth and scoop grubs out with its long finger. I'd found my mystery animal. It was an ai finding food in a tree. And it doesn't scare me. That was It Doesn't Scare Me. Thanks for listening to my story. I wrote it to help tell people about some of the amazing animals that live in Madagascar. We hope to see you at Chester Zoo sometime soon.